After two months of political wrangling, newly appointed Italian Prime Minister Enrico Letta has formed a new cabinet. He brings together his own Democratic Party members and opposition members from former Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi's centre-right People of Freedom Party. It's a team of ministers that is very competent, one that is young and also includes a record number of women. For me, that is one of the greatest satisfactions. Letta was charged with bringing together a cohesive government by President Giorgio Napolitano, who himself was only inaugurated about a week ago. In a sign that Letta is willing to build on his reputation as a bridge builder, Angelina Alfano from the People of Freedom Party was appointed Deputy Prime Minister. Fabrizio Saccomanni, the Italian Central Bank's experienced Director General, will head up the powerful Economy Ministry. And the post of Justice Minister went to Anna Maria Cancellieri, a member of the outgoing Prime Minister Mario Monti's government. Emma Bonino wins the Foreign Minister post. She's a former member of the European Parliament and a leading member of the independent Italian Radicals Party. But there was no room for Beppe Grillo, the popular comedian who stood in the general election under his anti-establishment five-star movement.